everyone welcome to this series of presentation on SWOT model my name is Eric Tamba and I'm going to pass you through uh, what SWOT model is so without any delays let's get to know what SWOT is uh, on our today's presentation we have a brief introduction to SWOT model uh, we'll see the meaning of SWOT, SWOT programs, data required for SWOT and SWOT applications so basically SWOT is an ideological model that predicts the long-term impact of land management practices on water, sediment, agricultural chemical yield in watersheds. So in watershed, the variation of soil type, uh, land uses, for example, agriculture and settlement. So SWOT model help in predicting long-term impact on those uh, management conditions. So basically SWOT uses the key principles or parameters of hydrology which include precipitation, evaporation and transpiration. So basically for this presentation we'll be using open source software that are available for everyone and everyone is able to download and have access to. So the first open source software we'll be using QGIS. Um, Another one is SWAT Plus, which is revised version of SWAT. And we'll be using also QSWAT, which is soil water assessment plugin in QGIS. Other supporting programs will include Microsoft Excel, Google Earth, Microsoft Access, and Microsoft Message Passing Interface. So the data required for SWAT model will include digital elevation mode, that which is um, elevation data land use data, soil data, and climate data. And so basically SWAT uses the four uh, key data that enable it to run and give you the desired output. So SWAT application is in various fields of study, including agriculture. So basically SWAT is used in water resource assessment can be used in uh, estimating stream flow for instance uh, can be used in estimating crop yield which refers to land productivity of the river basin uh, also can be used in understanding the impact of climate change and assessing land use and cover changes as well also so it can be used in understanding the impact of best management practices and estimating soil erosion as you can see on the map the red color represents areas with uh, extreme soil erosion while the green color represent areas with uh, less erosion so many researchers have conducted research using SWOT model and this is a research by a team 2018 uh, on understanding the impact of climate change and use change on discharge regime of Gelangere river basin so we have reached the end of today's presentation and hope to see you in the next presentation where we'll be installing the important SWAT tools and opening a, a SWAT project.